The University of South Carolina is the first research university in South Carolina to establish a Confucius Institute and serves to promote education about the Chinese language, culture, and society. The program strengthens the university's course offerings in Chinese language and culture, provides visiting scholars from China, and expands the China-related research library collections at the Thomas Cooper Library, as well as a substantial Chinese film collection archived at the university's Moving Image Research Collection. In addition, the Confucius Institute develops and supports a variety of Chinese language programs in public and private schools around the state. The relationship between the University of South Carolina and the Confucius Institute is based in partnership. The Confucius Institute at USC is collaboration between Beijing Language and Culture University and the University of South Carolina. It was established in November 2008. I almost can't imagine a time before the University of South Carolina had a Confucius Institute. It has been that fundamental and that important to who we are today as a university. It gives us the opportunity to meet a specific need on our campus in terms of uh, classroom experience and beyond the classroom experience for our students. The strategic vision of the university is one that focuses on global engagement. And so the Confucius Institute is an extremely important part of that global engagement enterprise. It's important for us to connect to one of the largest economies and the largest population base in the world. And the Institute helps us to do that. Since its establishment, the Confucius Institute has had an active board of directors who work with the Institute's director and deputy directors to develop courses, recruit students, teachers, and volunteers, sponsor cultural-themed lectures and seminars, and participate in important local and national forums. The program creates cultural events, competitions, and exhibition tours. They provide training sessions for educators and organize study abroad programs for teachers, administrators, and students. However, teaching for the Chinese language program at USC remains the Confucius Institute's top priority, with over 450 students annually enrolled in a total of 30 Chinese courses offered. I can't, I can't go outside. Okay. Do you like the rain? I like the rain. Why? Because I like to hear the rain. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like to hear the rain. Okay, we are good, we are good. The College of Arts and Sciences really encouraged the development of the Chinese program, but they did not really have enough faculty. So at this moment, the Confucius Institute held. The visiting professors come over here to teach Chinese courses, but they do not only teach Chinese language, they offer Chinese culture as well. I think it's interesting to know new language, learn something different. Um, Chinese is very interesting, learning the characters, um, exploring new culture. Chinese definitely enhances my education. It's not related to my major, but I wanted to further my education and I've been really considering minoring in it. It opens doors for studying abroad or communicating uh, with a wider variety of people. The BLCU, Beijing Language and Culture University, being the best in teaching foreign students. Chinese, we have qualified teachers. And also we provided courses in geography, history, and uh, of course film. The Chinese Film Collection is a collection of more than 800 films and more than 1,500 DVDs uh, that came to the University of South Carolina from the Embassy of the People's Republic of China. It was brought to this particular university because of our very strong Confucius Institute uh, and because of our excellent film archive. It's a very diverse collection. Uh, there's animation, there are feature films, there are many, many documentaries covering broad topics on the history of China. And the Confucius Institute was very anxious to have it, uh, I believe as a learning tool for the students here. The collection of films that was donated by the Confucius Institute has been essential in both my daily teaching and my film courses and also my personal research and my um, preparation for those classes. Chinese 
intellectuals who were thinking about reforming the country said, how can we possibly strong, be strong as a nation when we treat our women this way? I think it's more important to have students understand the cultural background of the language that they're learning. And if the more Chinese films they watch, I feel like the more engaged they are in the learning process. This collection was actually so large that we didn't have space for it in our vaults when the university decided to acquire it. We were able to purchase a brand new vault specifically for this collection. Um, it's our coldest, driest vault, which means it's our best vault for film storage. We've had the great benefit of support from the Beijing Film Academy. They've sent students to Merck every year for several years now, and those students have painstakingly gone through every film in our vaults, watched them, verified what the content was, and created catalog records for them. And we're incredibly grateful to those students from the Beijing Film Academy. The work of the Confucius Institute is not confined to the halls of higher education. Its mission extends beyond that, into the community and across the state. Throughout South Carolina, in both public and private schools, the Confucius Institute supports kindergarten through 12th grade school classrooms that teach Mandarin and expose students to Chinese arts and culture on a daily basis. Irma Middle School uh, is officially transitioning into Irma Middle School, an international academic magnet. So all of our students here will have an opportunity to really think about, you know, what does it mean to be a member of this global community? If you're really interested in different cultures, especially like Asian culture, I really suggest this because you really get to interact with the culture more than just learning and sitting down. Like you actually get to like what they're doing, the um, calligraphy. And so it's very interesting and it kind of gets your mindset different. When character takes one box, Miha has two parts, right? Left and right. We'll put the left part in the left box and the right part in the right side of the box. Calligraphy has a long history in China and it's a very good way for us um, to train our students here to be patient and can sit there still do something. And also it's a good way for them to practice the character writing because they're not used to write the strokes but just the letters before. Having the opportunity for kids to take Mandarin as seventh graders right here in Irmo, South Carolina, um, that speaks volumes to, to what we're really trying to be about and to the type of sort of real world global experiences that we're trying to provide our students with. East Point Academy would not be possible without the Confucius Institute. Everyone in the school um, has Mandarin for 50% or more of their day. So that means their science, their math, and their Mandarin language arts are taught in Mandarin. Yesterday was my um, grandfather on the father's side birthday. The Confucius Institute has helped us identify uh, teachers in China to come to the United States. They've assisted in interviewing for Chinese volunteer teachers. We probably have full-time about 20 um, native Mandarin speakers. We are so thrilled that they have donated their time, their talent, and their resources to support us. We want our children to learn that there are positive aspects to both countries. By good communication, by understanding each other's cultures, we can build bridges to peace. We are extremely proud that Hanban has recognized our program and designated Porter Gout as a Confucius classroom. This is a great honor for all of us and our program. We believe that the world these children are going to enter as young adults will be a world where understanding Chinese, its culture, and its language will be very, very important. We have all of our children who enter first grade at Porter Goud study Chinese. They get Chinese throughout their entire lower school program, which is grades one through five, and they also will have the opportunity to continue that study in middle school and high school. Wa Porter Gao de Sui Xia Shang Shui. 
I'm in third grade and I've studied it for three years. I think it's super cool to learn the culture and the language. With Hanban's support, we can actually do a lot of cool things with our students, both in and outside of classrooms, and to help them to learn Chinese language better and to understand Chinese culture better. We want our students to be able to use what they have learned in class in the real life. We want them to use it. So this uh, Become Confucius classroom actually gave us the opportunity, allow us to uh, provide this kind of cool things to cool opportunities to our students. Right now we have about uh, 300 students are studying Chinese in the lower school at Borgao. It's a really good opportunity to be able to learn a another language like that because it's difficult but in a way that is fun for me to be able to learn something that's more challenging like that. I think that it develops a side of your brain that like helps you with other classes and makes things easier for you. I think the Confucius Institute is important for all of South Carolina. They are a great resource to us. We are able to then educate our families um, as part of a state, what I see as a state initiative to do a better job learning about a new culture and a new people. As part of the Confucius Institute's commitment to furthering Chinese language and culture, they offer a variety of workshops, such as local teacher training, Tai Chi, paper cutting, calligraphy, and painting. Each year, a statewide Chinese language competition is held, and the winners attend a national competition representing the state. In its tenure, the Confucius Institute at USC has hosted over 200 cultural events and has become a powerful symbol of Chinese culture throughout the region. In 2011, they were recognized as the Confucius Institute of the Year. We are about to open a Chinese language major at the University of South Carolina, one of the few in the entire region. The language instructors that we're able to bring here from Beijing Language and Culture University enrich our curriculum because they allow us to offer a full range of courses. The presence of the Confucius Institute on campus has allowed us to expand our offerings, therefore meeting the demand from the students, both in the classroom and beyond the classroom. The Confucius Institute must become a legacy at the University of South Carolina, must become a permanent part of the university and even beyond the, the uh, tenure of my presidency.